సో మనం ఏం చేద్దాం అంటే వీ వాంటెడ్ టు గెట్ ఇన్ టు ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ కాబట్టి మనం మెథడ్స్ కంటిన్యూషన్ ఫర్దర్ గా చేద్దాం we will go ahead with operators operators start chesi chinna chinna programs cheskuntu operators okati dan tarvata ee methods lo parameterized and non parameterized and then con conditional statements ee ayipothe ante ee illo inga meeku programming anni cover avuthi ante meeku general ga oka campus interview adi interview ki elthe meeku raayamaina programs untayi kada atlanti anni ikkada cover chesesukochu okay na సో ఇక్కడ నుంచి మీకు ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ అనేది కొంచెం స్టార్ట్ అయింది సో స్టాటిక్ నాన్ స్టాటిక్ మెథడ్స్ మీకు ఒక ఐడియా కోసం చెప్పాను అవసరం వచ్చినప్పుడు ఫ్యూచర్ లో వాడదాం ఓకే యాజ్ ఆఫ్ నో అంత బాగా పట్టించుకోవచ్చు లేదు కానీ మీకు తెలియాలి స్టాటిక్ మెథడ్స్ ఎలా కాల్ చేయాలి నాన్ స్టాటిక్ మెథడ్స్ ఎలా కాల్ చేయాలని తెలియాలి ఓకే ప్రాజెక్ట్ లో అవసరం అయితే అప్పుడు యూజ్ చేసుకుందాం ఓకే నెక్స్ట్ ఆపరేటర్స్ ఇన్ జావా నెక్స్ట్ టాపిక్ వచ్చేసి ఆపరేటర్స్ ఇంకా ఫోర్ మినిట్స్ ఉంది కదా విల్ స్టార్ట్ ఆఫ్టర్ ఫోర్ మినిట్స్ okay we start at sharp on dot 5 o'clock then you can note so okay it's <laughs> maybe మీకు లాస్ట్ క్లాస్ లో లాస్ట్ క్లాస్ లాస్ట్ క్లాస్ లో మనం ఏదైతే డిస్కస్ చేసామో ద టాపిక్ విచ్ వీ హావ్ డిస్కస్డ్ ఇన్ ద లాస్ట్ క్లాస్ స్టాటిక్ అండ్ నాన్ స్టాటిక్ యూ షుడ్ హ్యావ్ ఎ క్లియర్ ఐడ్ అబౌట్ విచ్ మెథడ్ కెన్ బి కాల్డ్ ఫ్రమ్ విచ్ అదర్ మెథడ్ ఎదర్ డైరెక్ట్లీ ఆర్ బై యూజింగ్ క్లాస్ రిఫరెన్స్ సో హౌ యూ డివైడ్ దిస్ ఈస్ వెన్ ఆల్ ద మెథడ్స్ ఇన్ సేమ్ క్లాస్ దట్ ఈస్ వన్ కేస్ వెన్ ద మెథడ్స్ ఆర్ ఇన్ డిఫరెంట్ క్లాసెస్ దట్ ఈస్ అనదర్ క్లాస్ when all the methods are in same class okay static method you can call anywhere directly non static you can call by using object clear that's the point when the methods are in different classes always non static you can call by using object there is no doubt about it when the methods are in different classes static can be called anywhere by using class name as a reference class name as different static methods static variables these are this 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 memory is in class level okay and if you say non static these are the ones where the memory is in object object reference okay so that's mainly for interview point of view in real time you will have but while practicing generally people will not much bother about these things okay మోస్ట్లీ ఎవ్రీ వన్ విల్ గో విత్ నాన్ స్టాటిక్ ఆల్ ద టైమ్ బట్ మనం ఫ్యూచర్ లో చేసేటప్పుడు చూద్దాం స్టాటిక్ చేయడానికి అండ్ వన్ మోర్ థింగ్ ఈస్ లెట్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ ఎల్స్ కమ్ ఒక రోజేమో పదిహేను మంది జాయిన్ అవుతారు ఇంకో రోజు చాలా తక్కువ మంది జాయిన్ అవుతారు ఇంకా వన్ మినిట్ ఉంది వి విల్ స్టార్ట్ ఇన్ ఎ మినిట్ మీకు ఈ హర్ష ట్రైనింగ్స్ ఇన్స్టాగ్రామ్ ఛానల్ కి వెళ్ళండి ఓకే జస్ట్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ అనమాట సి ఈ రోజు మీకు మీకు ఆల్రెడీ ఫ్రెషర్ ఆపర్చున ఫ్రెషర్ ఓపెనింగ్స్ ఇప్పటి వరకు లేవు కదా స్టార్ట్ అయిపోయింది ఇప్పుడు మార్కెట్ చూస్తే క్లారిటీగా అర్థమవుతుంది ఏంటంటే ఫ్రెషర్ ఓపెనింగ్స్ అనేవి బిగిన్ అయినాయి సో ఫ్రెషర్ ఓపెనింగ్స్ లో మెయిన్ గా మీకు ఉండేది జనరల్ గా రిటర్న్ టెస్ట్ మీకు కాలేజ్ లెవెల్లో నాకు తెలిసి మీరు ప్రిపేర్ అయ్యి ఉండొచ్చు ఏమో యాప్టిట్యూడ్ క్వాంటిటీ యాప్టిట్యూడ్ రీజనింగ్ అదే పెద్ద కంపెనీస్కి కొన్ని చిన్న కంపెనీస్కి అయితే రిటర్న్ ఉండకపోవచ్చు ఓకే ఇప్పుడు చూడండి మీరు ఇక్కడ మేము పోస్ట్ చేస్తున్నాం ఓకే ఆర్కెలో సాఫ్ట్వేర్ డెవలపర్ ఫ్రెషర్ ఓపెనింగ్స్ కోసం దే ఆర్ లుకింగ్ ఫర్ పీపుల్ అండ్ దెన్ ఇది వచ్చేసి ఐ థింక్ ఫ్రెషర్ జాబ్ ఇది కంపెనీ పెట్టలేదు వీళ్ళు బట్ ఇట్ కెన్ బి సంథింగ్ బయోలో బయోలో లింక్ ఉంది మీరు ఒకసారి చూడొచ్చు నాకు తెలిసి ఇది యాక్సెంచర్ అయి ఉంటుంది యాక్సెంచర్ ఓకే యాక్సెంచర్ ఆపర్చునిటీ ప్రెషర్స్ అంటే ఇవన్నీ ఓపెన్ లో మీరు అప్లై చేసుకోవచ్చు ఓకే మీరు వెళ్తే డైరెక్ట్ లింక్స్ ఉంటాయి కంపెనీ ఏదైతే కంపెనీ వెబ్సైట్ ఉందో కంపెనీ వెబ్సైట్ లో వాళ్ళు కెరీర్స్ లో పోస్ట్ చేసిన జాబ్ కి సంబంధించిన డైరెక్ట్ లింకే వస్తుంది మళ్ళీ మీరు 
వేరే వెబ్సైట్స్ కి వెళ్తే మహా అయితే హర్ష ట్రైనింగ్ వెబ్సైట్ కి వెళ్తారు లింక్స్ ఎక్కువ ఉంటే అక్కడ రిడేట్ చేస్తాను తప్ప మామూలుగా అవసరం లేదు సో టీసీఎస్ ఐ టీసీఎస్ ఐఆన్ ఈస్ హైరింగ్ ట్వంటీ నైన్టీన్ టు ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ అంటే ఇదేంటంటే ఇది వేరేలా ఉంటది ఎట్లా అంటే మీకు అక్కడ ఎన్క్యూటి టెస్ట్ అని ఒకటి ఉంటది ఆ టెస్ట్ కి మీరు ఎన్రోల్ చేసుకుని ప్రిపేర్ అయ్యి థౌసండ్ రూపీస్ ఎంత ఉంటది మీరు అది కనుక క్రాక్ చేశారు అంటే దెన్ యూ కెన్ స్టార్ట్ అప్లైయింగ్ ఫర్ ద జాబ్స్ వాళ్ళ పోర్టల్ లోనే జాబ్స్ ఉంటాయి అక్కడ అప్లై చేయొచ్చు ఇది ఒక సపరేట్ ప్రాసెస్ అనమాట దీనికి ఓపెనింగ్స్ నైన్టీన్ నుంచి ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ వరకు వాళ్ళకి ఏ బ్యాచ్ అయినా అంటే మీరు ఆల్రెడీ చదువుతూ ఉన్నా కూడా ఓకే ఇట్లా త్రీ పోస్ట్ చేశారు రేపు మొత్తం ఎయిట్ ఆపర్చునిటీస్ ఉన్నాయి మొత్తం ఎట్ ఎ టైం చేయకుండా త్రీ చేసాము రేపు ఒక మూడు ఎల్లుండి ఒక రెండు అలా చేస్తారు ఓకే మల్టిపుల్ కంపెనీస్ కొన్ని ఆపర్చునిటీస్ ఆల్ అన్ని ఎంఎన్సీస్ అన్ని స్టార్ట్ చేశారు రిక్రూట్మెంట్ మీకు ఇక్కడ కూడా మా నాకు తెలిసి ఇక్కడ కూడా ఒకటి పోస్ట్ చేశారు దీన్ని ఏమంటారు స్టోరీ ఓకే నాకు పెద్దగా తెలియదు స్టోరీ సో స్టోరీలో పోస్ట్ చేశారు సో ఇక్కడ అప్లై లింక్ మీద క్లిక్ చేస్తే మీకు విజిట్ అని వస్తుంది ఇక్కడికి వెళ్తే ప్రాబ్లీ ఇది కూడా నాకు తెలిసి యాక్సెంచర్ కి సంబంధించింది కదా ఫాలో లింక్ ఓకే యాక్సెంచర్ కి సంబంధించింది సిస్టమ్ అండ్ అప్లికేషన్ సర్వీస్ అసోసియేట్ శాలరీ ప్యాకేజ్ ఇది ఇక్కడ అప్లికేషన్ లింక్ ఉంది మీరందరూ ఈ జాబాల కోసం వీటి కోసం వెయిట్ చేయాల్సిన పని లేదు ఇది జనరల్ గా ఉంటాయి కాబట్టి మీకు ఉన్న స్కిల్ సెట్ తో వెళ్ళిపోయాయి ఇవన్నీ ఇవి స్పెసిఫిక్ కాదు మేము ఏదన్నా క్లయింట్స్ ఇప్పుడు ఓన్లీ యూఐ మీద లాస్ట్ వీకెండ్ పంపించాం కదా కొంతమంది రిసోర్స్ మేబీ మీకు తెలియకపోవచ్చు ఓకే హైదరాబాద్ లొకేషన్ కి వెళ్ళారు ఒక ఏడుగురు ఎనిమిది మంది వెళ్ళారు ముగ్గురు మాత్రం ఫైనల్ రౌండ్ కి వెళ్ళారు చూడాలి వాళ్ళకి ఒక టాస్క్ ఇచ్చారు ఈ వీక్ చేయాలి వాళ్ళు ఈ సాటే తర్వాత తెలిసిపోదు సెలెక్ట్ అయ్యారా లేదా అనేది ఓకే కానీ మళ్ళీ ఇంకా ఉన్నాయి దానికి అంటే మీకు ఫుల్ స్టాక్ మొత్తం కూడా రావసల్ల హెచ్టిఎంఎల్ సిఎస్ఎస్ జావా స్క్రిప్ట్ తర్వాత జావా స్క్రిప్ట్ లో ఒక జే దీనికి సంబంధించి రెస్ట్ ఇంటిగ్రేషన్ కి సంబంధించిన టాస్క్ ఇస్తారు అది మేము ఏం చేసామంటే ఆ వెళ్ళిన వాళ్ళకి సపరేట్ గా సెషన్ బట్టి చెప్పించాం ఓకే సో కాబట్టి వాళ్ళు ఈ వీకెండ్ చేయగలుగుతారు అట్లా మీరు ఫస్ట్ రౌండ్ క్లియర్ చేయగలిగితే చేయగలుగుతారు వాళ్ళది ఏంటంటే ప్రాసెస్ ఫస్ట్ రౌండ్ ఏమో కమ్యూనికేషన్ సెకండ్ రౌండ్ ఏమో టెక్నికల్ పెట్టారు అవి కూడా పిల్లబాచ్చా క్వశ్చన్ నేను చూసా ఓకే సో థర్డ్ రౌండ్ ఏమో టాస్క్ రౌండ్ ఆ టాస్క్ చేస్తే దిస్ నో డౌట్ యూ విల్ బీ ఇన్ ఓకే అక్కడ నుంచి మీరు క్లయింట్ కి వర్క్ చేస్తారు త్రీ మంత్స్ వాళ్ళు టెన్ థౌసండ్ ఇస్తున్నారు శాలరీ త్రీ మంత్స్ లో మిమ్మల్ని మోల్డ్ చేసేస్తారు క్లయింట్ కి పంపించేస్తారు అక్కడ నుంచి త్రీ పాయింట్ అట్లా ఉంటుంది ఐ డోంట్ నో ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ త్రీ ల్యాక్స్ త్రీ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ అట్లా ఉండొచ్చు ఓకే సో ఆపర్చునిటీస్ బానే వచ్చేసినాయి అని చెప్పవచ్చు మీరు ఫ్రెషర్ ఓపెనింగ్స్ స్టార్ట్ అయిపోయినాయి మీరు ఇంకా వెయిట్ చేయాల్సిన పని లేదు జనరల్ గా వచ్చే ఓపెనింగ్స్ వెయిట్ కి కోర్స్ కి సంబంధం లేదు మీరు ఓపెన్ లో ఉన్నాయన్ని అప్లై చేసుకుంటా వెళ్ళండి మీ ప్రిపరేషన్ మీరు స్టార్ట్ చేసేసేయండి ఓకే దానికి దీనికి సంబంధం లేదు మీకు అక్కడ సీ లాంగ్వేజ్ వచ్చినా తీసుకోవచ్చు వాళ్ళు చెప్పలేము యాక్సెంచర్ ఓపెన్ లో పడి అందరికీ అన్ని లాంగ్వేజ్ రావాలని రూల్ ఉండదు కదా సీ వచ్చిన వాళ్ళని తీసుకుంటారు ఓన్లీ జావా వచ్చిన వాళ్ళని తీసుకుంటారు వాడు రిటర్న్ క్లియర్ చేయండి వాళ్ళు టెక్నికల్ క్లియర్ చేయండి హెచ్ఆర్ క్లియర్ చేయండి క్లియర్ చేయండి అంతే దానికి జనరల్ కోర్సెస్ కి సంబంధం ఉండదు ఓకే సో మోస్ట్లీ నాకు తెలిసి అన్ని ఇన్ క్యాంపస్ ఉంటాయి అనుకుంటా ఇప్పుడు ఇంతకు ముందు లాగా ఇంటి దగ్గర నుంచి కాదు కదా ఇంటి దగ్గర నుంచి అయితే ఏముంది మీ ఫ్రెండ్స్ మీ మీ ఎగ్జామ్ మీ ఫ్రెండ్స్ మీ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఎగ్జామ్ ఇంకొకళ్ళు అలా రాసేసి చాలా ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్లు బాగా చేస్తారు లాస్ట్ టైం అది అన్ని వర్కౌట్ కాదు ఓకే కాబట్టి మీరే చేయాలి మీ రిటర్న్ టెస్ట్లు సో నాకు తెలిసి మీరు ఇప్పుడు అప్లై అంటే మీకు కాలేజ్ లెవెల్ నాలెడ్జ్ కొంత ఉన్నా కూడా మీరు వెయిట్ చేయకుండా అప్లై చేయొచ్చు అని నేను అనుకుంటున్నాను ఒక్కోసారి టెక్నికల్ సింపుల్ గా పడచ్చు చెప్పలేము ఓకే ట్రై చేయండి ఆన్లైన్ ఉన్న వాళ్ళకి అర్థమైందా ఎవ్రీ వన్ క్లియర్ ఆన్లైన్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఓకే సో మీరు అందరూ ఏం చేస్తారంటే హర్ష ట్రైనింగ్స్ ఏమంటారు దాన్ని ఇన్స్టాగ్రామ్ ఇన్స్టాగ్రామ్ కి వెళ్ళి అక్కడ ఫాలో అవ్వండి మీకు రోజు అప్డేట్స్ వస్తా ఉంటాయి ఓకే బై నెక్స్ట్ మండే మండే అయి మండే రోజుతో టోటల్ ఎయిట్ ఎయిట్ ఓపెనింగ్స్ పడతాయి కానీ మీకు ఎవ్రీడే మినిమం టూ ఓపెనింగ్స్ అయితే ఖచ్చితంగా అక్కడ పెడతాం డైరెక్ట్ క్లయింట్స్ మాత్రమే మీకు మాత్రమే చెప్పి పంపిస్తాను కానీ మిగతా అన్ని ఓపెన్ లో పెడతాం దట్స్ నాట్ ఎ బిగ్ డీల్ ఓకే మీలాగే చాలా మంది అప్లై చ
మళ్ళీ మీకు మీకు తెలియదు కదా మేము ఎప్పుడు పోస్ట్ చేస్తాం అనేది అది ఉంటుంది కదా అలర్ట్ సెట్ చేసుకోండి ఖచ్చితంగా మినిమం టూ అయితే డైలీ పోస్ట్ చేస్తాం ఓకే మీరు ఫ్రెషర్ కాబట్టి నా సజెషన్ అయితే మీరు లొకేషన్ కాన్స్టెంట్ పెట్టుకోవద్దు అంటే నేను హైదరాబాద్ లోనే జాబ్ చేయాలని పెట్టుకోవద్దు ఎప్పుడు ఫ్రెషర్ ఎక్కడికైనా వెళ్ళిపోవచ్చు జనరల్ గా అప్లై చేసేసేయండి వచ్చిన జాబ్ జాయిన్ అయిపోండి ఒక ఆఫర్ ఉంటే ఇంకో ఆఫర్ ఈజీగా వస్తుంది ఫస్ట్ ఆఫర్ ఏదైనా అని తెచ్చేసుకోండి అట్లా చేయండి ఓకే సో నిన్న చేసాం కదా మనం ప్రోగ్రామ్స్ నిన్న ప్రోగ్రామ్ ఒకసారి ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేస్తాను చూడండి ఓకే నిన్న ఏంటిది ప్రోగ్రామ్ చేసింది దానికి ఏమిచ్చాం స్టాటిక్ మెథడ్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ వన్ ఐఎమ్ సారీ దిస్ ఇస్ క్లాస్ ఫైల్ రైట్ ఓకే ఇది కాదు ఇదేనా ఇదేనా ఓకే సో నా యూ సీ హియర్ మీకు కంట్రోల్ ఎగ్జిక్యూషన్ కంట్రోల్ హౌ ద ఎగ్జిక్యూషన్ కంట్రోల్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు బి దట్స్ వాట్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ యూ నో ఓకే సి యు నో వన్ థింగ్ దట్ ఇన్ జావా ఆల్వేస్ ద ఎగ్జిక్యూషన్ విల్ బిగిన్ ఫ్రమ్ ద మెయిన్ మెథడ్ సో వెన్ దిస్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ ఈస్ ఎగ్జిక్యూటెడ్ ద కంపైలర్ బిగన్స్ ద ఎగ్జిక్యూషన్ ఆఫ్ ద ప్రోగ్రామ్ ఫ్రమ్ మెయిన్ మెథడ్ when it comes to main method in the next step it is creating an object for the class so for the class it is creating an object by name obj1 so after this is completed then this is method calling this is method call if you want to call a method you call by its name suppose nen memmal ever if i want to call any one of you how do i call by your name right so always you call a method by the name of the method okay if the method is static method then you call it directly if it is non static method then you use object reference then you use object reference so first it will call the static method then at this step control will jump to static method means execution now starts here when when this line is completed execution means execution control will be moved to static method and then it will print the value so once this method is completed as this method is returning nothing returns i will tell you later then once this method execution is completed then execution will come to execution control will go to next line in the next line it is calling object1 dot non static method then the execution control will go to non static method here then this message will be printed once this is completed main method is also completed then program is over clear everyone ipudu nen cheppan kada so before i tell you I mean like yesterday itself how many of you know about this execution order how many of you do not know about this execution order all of you know about this online students all of you know about this execution order how the control execution control will move and all because i need to know to what extent i have to take the session like to very basic or to let, let's say middle level or something that's why i am asking you all know about this before itself or now you understand now only you understand okay i should have told this yesterday that no problem then next time onwards i will tell you the execution control for every program okay i think this is the first time we are doing methods right before and all it's a same sequential order so when you come across with methods you need to understand the execution of the methods in which order it will get executed control how it will be transferred from one place to another place when a method is encountered then the con- execution control will go to the method when a method is called once that method is completed successfully then the execution will come back to the calling place from calling place it will go to the next line again next line something else is being called it will go so you need to remember one fundamental thing mostly main method contains calling of other methods main method will not have any task implementation all tasks will be created as methods main method will take care of calling each task by task so that's how we need to write your programming all the time okay so online students every one of you whoever is there you able to understand everything anyone is there who cannot understand telugu language is there anyone like that can you please respond so that i can understand otherwise sometimes i may use telugu language in between but online some people enrolled they are going through videos only they cannot understand telugu itself okay no problem you understand everyone will understand right okay here you go now i'll close this rest response and okay next topic that we are going to talk about is operators in java see 
so operators will be used will be used between two or more variables between two or more variables for example a plus b so here plus is operator plus is operator it is actually arithmetic operator just like that i'm telling a is equal to b then hold on so here is equal to is an operator okay so you are calling this particular symbol plus this particular symbol is equal to not equal to all these are operators okay there is a classification i will tell you but what about these variables what do you call these variables a and b a and b are called as operands okay are called as operands because anywhere you come across technical terminology you should not get confused we call it a variable that's okay when variables are being linked to operators then these variables we generally call it as operands understand clear so between the operands you will use operators okay what is the purpose of operators operators helps writing the programs to perform some calculations for comparisons okay for assignment like this there are so many uses so if you look at operators there are different types of operators available in java which are first one arithmetic operators what is the first one arithmetic arithmetic means those performs arithmetic operations like plus some addition okay minus that is sub subtraction and yes division okay multiplication star okay anyhow here into will not be there star you have eight right character above eight it is there shift eight a star okay star that is multiplication and this is called division division operator and this is called modulo division or percent operator you can say percent operator or modulus division or modulo division your wish whatever you want to call people will use all terms see these two we need to clearly understand as we go on further okay i'll write one program specifically for these two to know about the result value i will explain you anyhow after explaining we will programmatically see so arithmetic operators are used to perform arithmetic calculations of addition subtraction multiplication division and modulo division i'll tell you each one of this going forward and the next one is only these two i will tell you for now remaining i'll tell you later so we have further assignment operators unary operators relational relational operators and logical operators these are very very important and bitwise operators conditional is important again conditional operators instance and type casting okay so these are different set of operators you don't have to buy hard so as you start using each of these automatically your brain starts remembering so first one is arithmetic operators i just now told you used to sum okay that is addition subtraction multiplication division and modulus division next one assignment operators we don't know about this operators but we started already using we are already in our previous programs even arithmetic plus also we have used okay so and is equal to we have used so here assignment operators assignments operators are used to assign values to the variables assign values to the variables is equal to so if you say is equal to for example here you can say a is equal to b so how the assignment will happen is the right side operand value will get assigned to the left side operand so that means b value will be given to a b value will be given to a this point everyone clear is equal to what else are there not is equal to you don't you, you want to see whether not equal to or not something like that okay and there are some compound operators there are some compound assign assignment operators i will tell you compound assignment operators means plus is equal to two operators combination so plus is equal to means i will tell you a plus okay a plus is equal to b if i say this which means that a is equal to a plus b that is the meaning understand this one you just look at here on the notepad clearly once again i can use arithmetic operator in combination with uh, assignment operator in combination with arithmetic operator if i want to write 
a is equal to a plus b instead of repeating the operand a twice you can say a plus is equal to b which means a is equal to a plus b this one everyone clear we will see we will write this way also in our code okay so remaining all you can guess and tell me can you tell me remaining all minus is equal to star is equal to divide is equal to percent is equal to like that all these are possible a is equal to a percent b a is equal to a minus b a is equal to a into b a star is equal to b means a is equal to a into b understand so like a shortcut way why this you should know about all this so you can say that i will write a is equal to a into b why should i know about a star is equal to b this is not just for learning purpose suppose if you are writing a written test they may use this way of syntax okay assignment they can use like a star is equal to b then you should be able to understand a is equal to a star b like that everyone clear so unary operators and all i'll come to that so we are going to write a small program where we are going to deal with arithmetic operators where we use object oriented programming with scanner object and a normal object user defined object created and we'll try to create uh, methods for each of this methods for each of this we are not going to simply do work on a single uh, what is that single method so we'll create one method for each of these operators okay look at here so i have a document for the same which i'm going to share you okay so here there is a table of content arithmetic operators addition plus this is what you can understand and subtraction multiplication division and modulus division okay so here i might be using the terminology operand that's why i told you operand means the variable which participates in that operation okay and the next one assignment operators if you look at assignment operators is equal to plus is equal to minus is equal to i'm sorry not is equal to is not there uh, that's just assignment right it's not comparison i'm sorry okay so is equal to plus is equal to minus is equal to star is equal to divide is equal to and modulo division unary and all i will tell you okay unary is something different that you're going to use i will tell you later okay so mostly you will come across increment and decrement operators you will come across when you deal with unary plus plus minus minus we will use it in for loops also many times we will have to know about all these things going forward first we will stop here up to the uh, other operators what is that assignment operators we will use this combination now so first we will write one program everyone write down it's not about uh, simply knowing about addition subtraction and all you are going to learn the usage of writing multiple methods calling the methods using an object reference and then setting the uh, variable values using object reference all that we are going to learn it's a kind of your learning programming again okay these are all not business you are learning programming ways okay write down working with arithmetic operators Work, working with arithmetic operators meeru kopa pavagalugutara next batch ko nen cheptanu working with arithmetic operators okay na ipu chodandi meeru see our intention is not just using this operators and get the output because i don't have to teach you actually you know all plus minus star and all okay our intention is to learn with multiple methods okay write down for each arithmetic operation create create one non static method without okay one non static method which is void method well meer ellal anukunte ellochu ammai tho maatladadu okay so for each for each arithmetic operation create or define you say anything create or define one non static method with void type see i don't have to actually tell you about void type because i did not anyhow tell you return types if you give a method with nothing as a type it will be automatically void anyhow but okay proceed okay we'll start using void in future we'll see return types and all okay okay write down write down next one these methods to be created in a separate class than the main method class these methods to be created in a separate class than main method class okay meeru brackets lo raskochu 
this class is called as service class dini sub class ani matram anaddu dai chesi evaru meer ekkada na textbook lo chadivina gaani ala maatladu ivi service classes antaru vetlini generally aa terminology kuda textbooks lo ledhu ekkada nenu chusanu okay these are not sub classes nanduke me mala raayam unnadu okay write down next point create an object to the create an object to the service class and access the methods from main class and access the methods from main class all this we are going to follow in our program make sense clear everyone okay see our intention is to learn how to create multiple classes multiple methods so far everything we have done in a single class mostly before till before yesterday everything is single method yesterday only we started creating multiple methods so now in a program we are going to use this multiple methods so can you guess and tell me if i am going to create a separate class how many methods will come here how many methods will come how many arithmetic operators how many arithmetic operators are there plus minus star divide modulo divide how many will come five methods will come okay so arithmetic operators with multiple classes and multiple methods so how do you access other class methods how do you access other class methods obviously you will access by using object reference by using object reference so i'm going to go with the language java i think i've already selected so where do you write so you are writing now two classes one class is service class one is main method class so always remember first you will write all the service classes bottom you will write main class methods also same thing suppose if you are writing everything in a single class first you will write all the service methods then finally main method you will write in the same way always first you write service classes okay class uh, arithmetic operators arithmetic operators arithmetic operators uh, arithmetic not operators calculations arithmetic calculations i'll give something like this this is the class i'm going to create should i write public static void main no okay i am going to define instance variables here itself okay integer a b let's say c otherwise i'll say result i'll say result okay so now so what okay i am going to set this values this particular uh, variables values i am not going to set here i am going to set it in the main method okay i will show you i want my intention is i want to access by using object reference so you start writing the methods void what is the first one addition right addition okay void addition is the one method so here what is the result calculation result is equal to you can easily say a plus b that's it i am not returning anything returns return and all we will be learning soon if you want to print the result here itself you can print system dot out dot print ln of yeah okay okay addition of addition of a a plus b you can write like this otherwise suppose if i want to print okay first i will finish a normal way what is there in that a and b addition of a and b is i'm going to write like this here you go plus result plus result this will print so now next what should i do subtraction void subtraction okay in the subtraction part result is equal to a minus b system dot out dot print ln subtraction of a and b is plus result again so if you want to print original values suppose okay void original you want to know about original values void i'm sorry original values because because you just wanted to understand before you proceed further okay the original values system dot out dot 
okay it's better i'll copy this is an additional method i am giving for information method this is an information method for you so original values of a and b are plus a plus plus a plus space plus b okay so where this is a string up to this it is one string no this string is concatenated with a again that is concatenated with space again that is concatenated with b so whatever that you want to okay these are the original values that you will understand further you are going to have operations being done okay so next void uh, subtraction multiplication multiplication so a star b a star b and plus result here i i should write multiplication multiplication and here subtraction okay and here multiplication void division okay so okay result a by b okay and division of okay a and b is result and you want to add more information you can add i'll tell you so this is modulus modulo division modulo division so the modulo division a percent b so here modulo division modulo division of a and b is the result so if you want to print what are you using suppose okay then you can additionally have system dot out dot print ln otherwise you can have comments also that's okay so using using plus that is addition operator plus operator okay using plus operator so that this is an information for you in the output of the program if you don't want you can make it as a comment also okay write a comment using plus operator using minus operator like that everywhere if you want to write like this you can write but in a real program you will never do like this okay in a real come again i'm sorry okay and then here using division operator so this is going to because you are a beginner this is going to give you some idea and information about what are you trying to do when you look at the output understand clear everyone so with this i am done with writing a service class arithmetic calculations now i have to write a main class now so here you go now class arithmetic operators example arithmetic operators example so here public static void main string args string args and here you go okay so now you need to know about the above program so above program what's the name of this okay before that i want to read the input through keyboard right then import java dot util dot scanner so you can even use star also that is up to you i'll take this class name i'll take this class name i'll be using here first i will create scanner object scanner scanner is equal to new scanner of system dot in system dot in this is one line arithmetic operations i can write avo uh, object is equal to new arithmetic operation arithmetic calculations okay with this object will be created now look at here listen to me carefully see i am not going to define any variables here because the variables that i want to use i have already decided and i have created in the service class this service class variables how can i use first of all tell me these are instance or static variable static or non static definitely these are instance because there is no static keyword how do you access instance variables of a class by using object reference can i access the variables of this class into another class yes or no access 
if i can access into another class how can i access by using object reference because those are instance suppose if those are uh, normal class variables static variables means class name dot okay but i am not going to do that now object reference so now system dot out dot print ln okay uh, sorry look at here now okay enter enter the value of first operand i'm using the terminology because i want you to learn it okay operand a first operand a for this you need to enter the value i want to read it so a is not available in this class a is available in some other class how do i make use of that a variable so this one avo object arithmetic okay otherwise arithmetic calculations right i'll i'll give ac ac stands for arithmetic the class name arithmetic calculations meaningfully i am giving ac as a object ac object dot a dot a is equal to tell me integer dot parse int of scanner dot next line scanner dot next line make sense clear everyone so next one so with this above class variable will get a value with this above class variable will get a value assigned at runtime okay so through the keyboard and next second operand b that is second operand b enter the value of second operand i'm sorry b okay b value i'm entering so a ac object dot b integer dot pass into scanner dot next line okay next what should i do i want all the calculations to be done and the result to be printed i should call the methods system dot out dot print ln here i am going to okay otherwise i'll write down. below is the result after calling all the methods after calling all the methods so if you want to understand much better okay i can even write the comment methods calling started here started here okay so we are going to call methods using using object reference using object reference what is the object ac object okay dot dot which one is the method now go here if you're using eclipse no you don't have to struggle this much because the moment you use eclipse it is going to show the method name in the drop down tomorrow we will start using eclipse i mean like next class onwards we'll start i will tell you how to install eclipse probably today itself if possible addition original values so here printing original values printing okay otherwise i'll write on this calling calling method okay control will transfer to called method calling method calling i'm sorry called method right called method from here it will go above okay that's for your information oh this is so much of information i'm writing okay next what is the next one it is better that i will take addition subtraction i should not make any mistakes actually that's why i'm copying it okay just give me a minute time subtraction what is the next one method name so why i am copying why i am not typing again in a typing i may make mistake okay that's the reason why without making any mistake i am just copying all those modulo division okay clear everyone so go to your program here all five methods and here your time will be saved if you are going with tools okay done so now first this method will be called how the program execution will, will happen i will explain you so let's go ahead and try to save this program okay i'm sorry i'll copy that otherwise i don't remember this one right arithmetic operators example save this 
arithmetic operators example dot java here you go java class notes java class name programs correct okay java source file save this now you go here oh here itself i am there oh. okay java c arithmetic java c arithmetic operators example dot java okay we'll see here okay everything is successfully done actually it's good always you get error messages if you get error messages you learn something what type of mistakes you can make and all while you are writing and telling okay so enter the value of first operand a so probably i'm going to enter for a better understanding i'm taking 10 okay and the second one i'm going to take five so now you see so below is the result after calling all the methods original value of a so i'm going to copy this to the notepad first of all so execution i'm going to explain you now okay look at here what is the output result we got uh, enter value enter enter value okay enter value means where is that statement enter value here you can see anyhow your program execution always begins from main method and it started creating an object object created so i i have to tell you one more best practice after everything is completed no it's a good practice to close the scanner object scanner object you created no so there is a statement called scanner dot close scanner dot object you open object you close scanner object always we have to close our objects okay okay so this is additional statement i have added closing scanner object it is a best practice all the time okay so now coming back here so scanner object is created and then our user defined object ac object for automatic calculations class is being created so came here execution begin first line second line then enter value of first operand a that's what we are seeing that means this is being executed then i have entered the value that is been read and assigned to a variable but where is the a variable a variable is available in top level class service class not subclass service level class you are correct okay next it is asking for the b and we are reading into b b variable is defined in again service class only i have set i'm setting the variables of service class from main class by accessing using object now a b have values next system dot out dot print ln below are the results that's what we are seeing now okay below are the results original values of a and b which means that here you go so here it is calling the method original values method so when this step is executed this line is executed control will be transferred from here to the method place original values method then this will be getting executed once this method is completed execution control will come back to the next method again the calling place oh i am sorry hold on why this is happening even in time zero uh, am i audible or still no no audio oh i am sorry whether you're saying audible or audible right why someone said okay is it lost in between unmute and respond it's clear right mohammed can you please check from your end all others able to hear me can you please check from your end because it is frequently have oh, i'm sorry your end okay i'm sorry check from your end yesterday we reported this issue to internet service provider they fixed it almost today i we did not face any issue of audio with other batches okay so addition so when once this is completed this method execution completed control will come back here then it will go to next line again from here where the control will move control will go to addition method once addition method execution is completed again the control will come back to calling place this is the calling place next is subtraction so every time i don't have to teach you all this right i think you understand you got one brief idea how the control will move from calling place to coming back clear right everyone so this is how we have written our program up using multiple methods and multiple classes multiple classes everyone clear so far
so now we can rewrite this program can we rewrite this program using assignment operators as compound operators okay can, can we rewrite this program assignment operators i told you right equal to from there onwards compound operators are there in the assignment equal to after equal to anyhow we have used plus equal to minus equal to again division equal to and all okay after that is completed i'll tell you one program on division and modulo division i did not tell you what is the result i'll tell you separately as a separate program we will experience and see okay so now what is the next program i'll copy this program okay i am creating one more okay okay write down next requirement working with assignment and compound compound operators compound assignment operators working with assignment and compound assignment operators why it is called compound you are using two operators together you are using two operators together that's the only fact okay compound assignment calculations okay that's what i have chosen okay implement above pro above program right on this way implement above program using compound assignment operators that's it means program is same i mean like overall thing is same but the way how you implement will change definitely okay this is clear everyone online students are you clear now we don't need third operand do you need third operand in this program we're going to use compound a is equal to a plus b you will do yes or no a plus is equal to b means a is equal to a plus b that's what you do you need any third variable now third variable is not required i'm removing third variable okay if i am transforming this into compound assignment third variable is obviously not required because instead of writing result equal to a plus b you will write a is equal to a plus is equal to b or b plus is equal to a something like that only you will write so that's why always we need to print original values at the beginning we should have first time original values will be there going forward original value of a will change okay i will show you so addition okay that i'm using the same way like addition and all so i'm use i'm using this statement a is equal to a plus is equal to b a plus is equal to b a plus is equal to b means what a is equal to a plus b you can see here see here plus is equal to means x plus is equal to 5 something like this that means x is equal to x plus 5 like that okay so a plus is equal to okay i am giving space for better understand okay so now what value should i print a value or result value a value only i have to print here there is no third variable result okay two variables only two variables combination you will be using okay next here subtraction so how do you write subtraction a minus is equal to b so you print what a okay subtraction of a and b so probably it may lead into negative value sometime okay a star is equal to b a star is equal to b and here a using star is equal to minus is equal to plus is equal to right plus is equal to okay that is also another thing i have to change and division a division is equal to a divide is equal to b so a is equal to and a and b is here also next i think probably it may lead to an issue here we will see if there is any compilation error i need to think about how to use the value okay after that a modulus is equal to b modulus is equal to and here e 
so now i changed the class name now i have changed the class name compound assignment calculations and the main class name also i'll change as i have changed above here i am changing it here i am changing it this is what i forgot last time scanner object okay arithmetic okay compound okay. otherwise assignment objects assignment operators example assignment operators example we are creating this system dot out dot and this one i am not changing that's okay leave it because i don't want to change so many places a b value and so on everything is same anything i i forgot everything same right so nothing else to be changed so the only thing is we started using compound operators okay we have used here compound operators the class name should be main class how many class files will be created for this program dot java right how many class files will be created two two class files will be created. yes correct all right i will take this and here you go with not this one which one this one java c dot java okay so here you go now i wanted to print the original values also i'm printing anyhow probably the last one or fourth one may fail we will see so i need to make sure i am going to enter some value which is not going to lead into negative value at all so let's say 15 a is 15 b is 5 okay this is the result i have got this is the result i have got you know all these basic things but still you don't know about divide and modulo division clearly do you know about divide and modulo division when you learn javascript or c language you know how the result will come so what is the result of divide okay let me tell you about this okay see here you go divides the list of okay i will write down here um, somewhere i'll write down at the bottom important note okay so divide operator divide operator this is the one no divide operator the result of this operator this operator is what is the result of this operator reminder or quotient spelling the result of this operator is quotient and you go with this other one modulo divide operator modulo divide operator that is percentage the result of this operator is reminder okay reminder when you are doing five okay ten divided by five how many times example example i'll, I'll just bring it down okay okay example simple example if you take you'll understand ten divided by two okay then result is what is the result five same way you take here example example 10 divided by 2 what's that zero i'm sorry i'm sorry modulus correct All right modulus that is zero result is is zero this is how programming language will work huh? come again is five right here i did not write okay see write a simple problem everyone but what is that you need to understand now my intention is one divided by 10 something like that you need to understand one divided by 10 one percent 10 how much that we are going to use in the next programming languages uh, next programs in future while we are working with reverse of number okay palindrome these examples we will come across programs that time you should have a clear idea about above number is a smaller number below number is larger number okay in that case what will be the result of divide what will be the result of modulo divide you should clearly know before you come across the future programs that's why we are writing one program okay for that okay clear everyone simple program this doesn't deal with objects or anything okay write down straight away program a simple a simple hard coded program on write a simple write a simple hard coded program 
H A R D. Hard coded means you give the values directly. That's the meaning. Write a simple hard coded program using divide and modulo divide. Divide and modulo divide operator. This is for knowledge purpose. This is for what purpose? Knowledge, understanding, and knowledge purpose. Okay. So I'll take one new one. So this is very, very important for the future. Class. Okay, divide and divide and modulo divide. Modulo divide. Example. Divide and modulo divide. Directly public static void. Public static void main string arcs. So this result will enable you to work on future programs. Okay. First one system dot out dot print ln of understanding divide operator understanding divide operator that is understanding divide operator i'm sorry you like this divide operator okay this is what we are going to do so system dot out dot println okay one divided by 10 is equal to what's the value one divided by 10 okay so this is what i am going to do. one divided by 10 how much save this mm. java programs dot java source file only right okay here you go now java c dot java okay what is the value you got zero like this we should learn all up to 10 we should learn okay so what should i do now copy this paste here okay if you are using for loop then it will be easy two divided by 10 why should you learn this definitely it will help you in the future programs for sure without knowing this it's not possible for you to write the programs in the interviews this is must you will be definitely using in the interviews Five, six six seven eight nine so this will help you for the future programs ten okay same way i am going to copy this and paste here and one system dot out dot print ln of space in between okay and percent operator what is that percent operator and now what i am going to do is percent percent two percent two percent three percent three percent so i can do it in a simple way than this any other simple easy way instead of doing these many times i go by notepad edit replace divide percentage done now oh it's not done replace divide the percentage replace up it's done i should have done this before from where i have modified five onwards huh? done so this is for learning purpose this is for learning purpose let's go ahead and run the program now java c divide and modulo divide this one this result first i will copy and give you later i will explain so apart from everything else that we have learned today this is important this is important to know about okay look at here now so what is the value one divided by 10 0 0 0 0 10 divided by 10 is equal to 1 this is 10 10 one time is equal to 10 so whatever the value you are getting in quotient so how many times you will divide 1 with 10 
1 by 10 means how many times you are going to get the quotient you're not going to get any number of times right if you're not going to get any number of times then it will always become zero 1 divided by 10 till 9 divided by 10 is always result is zero times only you're going to do not more than that next 10 divided by 10 10 once 10 so you will be getting the quotient of one that's the result apart from this the most important one is this one so one percent to 10 is equal to one two percent to 10 is equal to two like this 10 percent 10 is equal to reminder zero one percent to 10 is equal to one how come it is one how come it is two how come it is three are you getting any idea one percent to ten okay you have one okay should i use any notepad or what you are able to understand right you have one okay and this side ten so how are you going to get the value as one here one two three nine okay smaller number only that's what my intention of writing is smaller number to show you then how come it is being the same value nine percent to ten is equal to nine how any idea nine no it is here you have the middle one as nine and on the left hand side you have ten ten okay ten zero times zero and what is the value so if you are not able to i mean like if it is a lesser number then definitely you're not going to divide modulo divide it will be zero times only then you will be getting the same value okay you can start researching on this and try to understand and tell me on monday i will also tell you in detail on monday once again but you just try to understand this see smaller number divide larger number mostly our programs deal with by 10 only that's why i taken 10 smaller number divided by 10 till you reach 10 the result will be zero divide okay and finally it is 10 by 10 is you are getting one value one if it is percentage it is different smaller number percentage 10 always you will get the smaller number as a result okay smaller number divided by 10 you will always get zero smaller num number percentage 10 you will always get smaller number as a result same number percent same number obviously zero no reminder will be zero any smaller number than 10 percentage 10 is always smaller number smaller number divided by 10 is always zero times okay this one just like that you do it we would be using it in multiple programs going forward not only single program. see as we started with the operators arithmetic and assignment operators next we will also do one or two examples with unary operators and all after that is completed then uh, what is that logical operators are also done we will write implement programs like comparison programs okay and logical operators mainly when you come across with control statements only you will be able to use it means conditions those will be used okay bitwise and bitwise are operators i mean like not bitwise sorry so other operators are there those operators mostly deals with conditions so here dependency is there to write the programs okay so next operators that we are going to discuss about is the rest of the operators that i have shown here in the class notes okay unary operators we will deal with plus plus minus minus this is also another important one in the examination point so for a given operand plus plus may come in front or afterwards if it comes in front what how what is the result if it comes afterwards what is the result result will be different i will show you okay same way minus minus then relational logical operators also will work on okay then here we can stop and go to control statements and then start combining all these with programs control statement plus all operators again programs will come okay clear so today are you clear with only two different operator types everyone clear okay online students are you clear so are you going through the document which i am sharing you every day theory document this word document i am sharing now 
are you going through this document still we did not enter into any logical program okay logical programming if you want to enter definitely conditional statements you should come across then only you can start writing some dynamic logical programs till then all will be like this only. okay no textbooks can teach you without conditional operators no, sorry. Uh, conditional and control statements okay now where you can learn okay fine i'll be sharing this document with you so tomorrow saturday there is no class sunday no class monday class will be there as usual tomorrow day after tomorrow what you will do so you start revising the subject okay it's not possible to remember everything on a single go as i told you start revising the subject you be perfect so anyone here with uh, having good knowledge in html css javascript anyone is there because we we have opportunities ready available you are already done with html css javascript many of you right if you are good at those things then we have openings right away for hyderabad location anyone is there online so i am repeating once again all of you please go to harsha trainings instagram uh, what do you call it account uh? instagram account so harsha trainings instagram account today we posted three jobs i don't know the login id probably i have here so instagram account and go to the story first okay uh, should i go to home no profile okay so in the story we have posted one job opportunity with tcs one or two we have posted it seems this is second one another one is there in the story with accenture these two are open opportunities okay and apart from this you go to reels or somewhere with oracle these are all fresher opportunities these links whatever we have here will redirect you to direct oracle website accenture website which means these are genuine opportunities okay if your link is redirected into some other website you're not pretty much sure whether that is genuine or data collection okay but if something we have so many links we'll redirect to harsha trainings website okay but in that one page you have links as of now we did not do it okay so we have posted around three opportunities today tomorrow we'll post three more monday will post two more total eight over every day we'll post minimum two opportunities here and whatever that we are not posting here is direct opportunity with us that is i told you ui html css javascript you are thorough with then we we are ready to send you to the location it's a direct face to face interview three rounds of interview first simple communication round second simple technical round third task based round where they will give you the task we will help you in the task I mean, like, we'll give you the knowledge, you can crack it if you are ready. Anyone is ready there? I think those who have just now started, okay, no problem. I'm talking about those who are already done with UI. Anyone is there? You are there. Sai is three. You are there, right? You need to reach out to me. Okay. So anyone is yes, there sir. who are ready to give, if you, if you feel you are strong enough, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and i we will teach you additionally javascript with rest integration we will teach you our trainer some other person is there he will teach you for two hours of session to make you strong in that aspect with one requirement like amazon like website okay so reach out to me on this number triple eight i'm sorry triple eight six two triple six one nine i will send you one link you fill the form tomorrow or monday okay anyhow tomorrow you are you ready to go tomorrow tomorrow no, itself any okay so you want to take one week time okay last saturday interviews were there this saturday there next saturday i'm not sure but it will be there 99.9 percent it will be there ping me now itself on my number so tomorrow i will line up i i'll line up your profile our hr will get back to you start taking your profile ahead forward and they will send you the location and all but interview is in hyderabad location it will be nearby our institute of it's a startup company okay. client will be mnc client is product based okay. company not service based client is a product based mnc but the immediate hiring company is startup company with around 100 employees okay but from there the client is product based company you are going to work on one product okay clear okay. information 
So triple eight six two triple six one nine. You be ready now. I hope the market is open for purchase because since past three days every company started out. Okay, uh, MNC started means next level startups also will start because MNC is two startups the openings will flow. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me tell you one point. See, it's not that you finish the training sessions. It's not important that you finish the training sessions in a month or two or three or five or ten. No matter. It's very, very important whether you are perfect and be ready or not. Okay. Five months you attended, but you are not ready. Then there is no use. You are in hurry to finish, but you are not getting ready anytime. Then there is no use. You don't have to be hurry in finishing the things. You have to be in hurrying, gaining the knowledge perfectly. Be hurry in that. Okay. So far, something is done right for you. Apart from this Java, some other people are there already. Continuation full stack, right? For you, something has been done like UI and all. Be perfect in that first. Okay. Apart from this, start studying that. See, full stack advantage is this one. UI openings you can go. Database openings you can go. Java you can go. These three you can combinely again you. Okay, that's the advantage of full stack. Okay, clear, makes sense. So if you are ready, I will arrange a session for you guys. Whoever is going to reach out to me, mention your name, mention that I am from Java Evening Batch for my better understanding, and then I am sharing my profile for UI opportunity. Okay, so that it, it will be clear to me. I will I will uh, take it forward tomorrow. Our HR will get back to you. Okay, thank you for joining. I am going to attach the documents now. Okay, you can wind up for today. Thank you.